guys. It's great to see you again. I'm Ms. Jolie, and I'll be your visual artist for this lesson. Today, we're gonna to talk about Lewis and Clark's expedition, uh, their guide, Sacagawea, and what's in her cradle board. Uh, we're gonna also create an artwork inspired by Native Americans. Today, the materials we need are a sheet of paper, a pencil and eraser, and a cup of crayons. Reminder, our third president, Thomas Jefferson, bought the Louisiana Purchase from Napoleon Bonaparte in 1803. Here is the state to the right and the Louisiana Territory in the middle of North America. This shows the Louisiana Territory in the whitish color. It's also known as the Louisiana Purchase. See the United States of America to the right side and the Louisiana Purchase added together doubles the nation's size. The Atlantic Ocean is to the east or the right and the Pacific Ocean is to the west or the left. After the Louisiana Purchase from Napoleon and France, President Thomas Jefferson wanted to send explorers to make maps of the new land and learn more about it. So he had three reasons he wanted to send Meriwether Lewis to explore the Louisiana Territory. One was to find out an all water route to the Pacific. Um, he wanted to see uh, if he could travel the Missouri River, which branched out to the west of the Mississippi. Uh, the two rivers met at St. Louis, so he wanted to see if um, it would go all the way to the ocean, and if not, if it would connect to other rivers that would go to the ocean. He wanted them to map out and collect samples of plants and animals so that uh, we would know what grows well in the land and what was there in our new nation. Um, he wanted them to become friends with the Native Americans that they met bring presents along so that they would know that we wanted peace. Lewis wanted to share the job of captain with Clark. A co-captain is someone who shares responsibility as the captain or the leader with someone else. So as co-captains, they would have equal command over the men. The United States government was paying for the exploration and Lewis and Clark will travel as members of the United States Army. William Clark was very good at uh, drawing maps and identifying plants and animals, and he had lots of experience with Native Americans. So Meriwether Lewis joined William Clark in Indiana to gather their team of explorers. Lewis and Clark began their journey in the city of St. Louis, traveling west along the Mississippi River on Monday, May 14th of 1804. The explorers called themselves the Corps of Discovery. A Corps is a group of people that work together. They needed to take with them food, water, clothes, tools for building shelters from animals in the weather, um, to cut down bushes and trees, hunting supplies for gathering samples of um, plants and animals as well. Uh, they had boats like pirogs uh, and keel boats. Um, but they were very hard to move on land. Um, they brought journals so that they could report back to President Jefferson. Um, they also needed survival skills, like knowing how to hunt fish, build shelter in the different habitats, and language skills to have the ability to speak many languages. The people on the expedition would have to find their own food, build their own shelters, and talk to the Native Americans. Along the way, Lewis and Clark had to pick up translators who knew how to communicate with natives, also woodsmen who knew how to survive the wilderness. Um, they uh, met uh, George Duya, who spoke many languages, including Native American hand sign language of the Great Western Plains. And they also met Toussaint, Charbonneau, whom they met at um, Fort Mandan. He was a French Canadian trader, cook and translator. With him was his pregnant wife, a Shoshone, 
Native American woman by the name of Sacagawea, which means bird woman. The Shoshone tribe lived farther along the Mississippi River and was gonna be one of the next tribes they were gonna uh, be expected to meet. Sacagawea could be very helpful as a guide and a translator because she knew the countryside and the natives and her husband could be the cook. Shortly after she became a member of the Corps of Discovery, she gave birth to a little boy they called Jean-Baptiste Charbonneau. Sacagawea's nickname, her baby, Pomp or Pompey. Pomp is a Shoshone for firstborn. Sacagawea was the only woman on the expedition and she traveled with her baby on her back in a Shoshone style cradle board. Sacagawea did indeed become one of the most valued members of their team. In fact, she served as a symbol of peace. Other natives saw them as less threatening because she was with them, besides being a translator and a guide for the expedition. When uh, they went to the Shoshones to ask for food and horses, they were turned down. But when Sacagawea noticed the chief was her brother, he helped her get the horses, supplies, and guides they needed to complete their journey. The Corps of Discovery finally crossed the Rocky Mountains, the barrier between them and the Pacific. The Nez Perce uh, led the party to the river and to the Pacific Ocean. Lewis and Clark told Sacagawea, if it were not for you, we would never have succeeded. And Sacagawea replied, you showed me the great waters. We are friends. Many things have been done to honor Sacagawea's contribution to the United States. They have created sculptures, statues, uh, stamps. She was chosen over the Statue of Liberty to be put on a U.S. Um, dollar coin. The Sacagawea dollar coin was minted first in uh, 2000, and it commemorates Sacagawea's contribution to Lewis and Clark's expedition. They really don't have a lot of pictures to show exactly what Sacagawea looked like. A lot of Native Americans do not like their picture taken. These uh, works of art have all been left up to the artist's interpretation of what they thought she looked like. Today, we will do an artwork of a baby in a cradle board, or sometimes the bag is also known as a papoose. Uh, like I said, it's a type of bag used to carry a child on one's back. This is what we're going to create for our artwork today. We're going to create a Native American cradle board. So this project, we're using, uh, of course, pencil and eraser and crayons. I am going to of course use my marker. Just go ahead and write your name on the top of your paper with your pencil first and um, then flip it over. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on here. What we want to do is um, find the top half of your paper and make a fist you're going to be going around your hand right there. You're going to be making a circle. So take your finger and ghost a circle, ghost a circle, ghost a circle. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do me a circle. There we go. And uh, this is going to be the face of my little child. It's going to be eyebrows look my eyes are going to be closed I'm gonna leave them closed let's see I'm gonna go ahead and put a nose see the eyes are like right in the middle this is where the eyes are my little eyebrows my nose that's where the little hump of my nose is and I'll put two little nostrils and I'm gonna the baby might have its mouth open could be yawning and I'm gonna go ahead and do zigzag around the outside for the hair All right, 
And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bitty neck, just a little bitty neck, and I'm going to come and bring, uh, actually I'm going to start from down here and bring lines coming up on both sides. Because my next thing is I want to go ahead and do some kind of oval, some kind of oval, some kind of oval. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and come down here. It doesn't have to, um, it doesn't, you, you can go off the page. I usually like to go off the page for the cradle. There we go. And uh, I will separate this in the middle here. And I'll add another line coming up, another curve coming up, another curve coming down or up and down. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a couple of circles. Let's see, I'm going to do a circle here and I'm going to do a circle here. If you want to put it down on the lower, you can. If you want to put it higher, you can. Um, I, I'm going to just do a design pattern. It's going to be going down there in a minute. Um, let me, let's go ahead and go down the, the center first. Here we're going to have a couple of loops. Here's going to be a loop. This is where we're going to tie. Okay, so go ahead and do another line really close by it. This is where we're going to tie your little bow or something. And this little area, that's where it's all tied together, right? doesn't really matter what it looks like. A knot looks kind of funny anyway. And that's the two little ends of the tie. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is bring some little lines coming on the side, little curve lines just going down. See, I just made little curve lines coming down. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can make six or seven. Just make sure you have one on the other side too as well. And my other one could be behind here. Okay. So um, next thing is I'm going to take one line, one line on one side, only on one side. I'm going to take one line on one side, one line on one side, one line on one side. Okay. Uh, what we can do is go ahead, if you want to do another line, you can. If you don't want to do another line, you don't have to. I'm going to show you. This is one I did. And I did a line on the top and a line on the bottom. A line on the top and on the bottom. Okay. Looking at this one, I just did only one line. See how I only did one line coming here? Because you can just go ahead and do the one line. Or if you want to do two. Uh, you have two on one side. And uh, on the other side, we'll do one in a minute. But yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and do two lines on this one. If you only want to do one line, that's fine. See how this side I have two? Okay. Well, on the other side, yeah, let's see. There's going to be one hiding behind here and another one hiding behind. Okay. And since I did two, so here's my second. Now, on the other side, from this side, we're going to go, and it's going to meet the next one, on, on the back of the next one. So this one's going to meet the back of this one. Okay, this one's going to meet the back of this one. It's going to meet the back of this one. The back of the next one. The back of the next one. And the back of the next one. So we have that one that line going that way. So the next one, we're going to go ahead and bring it to the next line. The next one goes to the next line. The next one goes to the next line. The next one goes to the next line. Goes to the next, back to the next line. And if you mess up, don't worry. It won't, it doesn't matter. That's why if you only put one line, it's not that, it's not, it's not going to be bad at all. And that's good. We'll just leave it as that. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and do a circle around. I, you can decide if you want them up there, or you can make patterns if you like, any way you want. See, on this particular one I did, I put them down here. I put them at the bottom. But on this one, I put them up here. And then you can color it alternating colors, or three colors, or two colors. All right? So, the next thing, we go ahead and put a double line here. So we have one line here, one circle, 
it's a curved line. A circle is a continuous curve. So that is a line, right? And then we're going to do a bigger one around it. And that's the one that's going to have the That's the one that's going to have the little curves coming out of it. What I like to do on this one is I go with like the number 10. So I can do uh, two different two tones. I can do like a white and a blue and a white and a blue and a white and a blue. Or in this case, it was a red and a blue and a red and a blue and a red and a blue. See if you do 10 of them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you can have it come equal one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that one will work this one's a little smaller but that's all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay um, underneath on the back here underneath we have the Where, where, where it connects and pulls together. So this is where we have it. Just go ahead and draw your lines coming back. That will work. And uh, if you want to put a pattern, any kind of pattern you want, that will work. And on the other one, I had done a pattern just coming down this way. And it had the little lines. And I did one on this side as well. And I had the little lines. We have it. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that underneath since I started it with it that way. You usually want it to equal the same amount. You want the line to meet the other line. All right. So we have. Um, I'm thinking this is one color and this part will be one color and this will be one color and this will be a different color. You can decide whatever color you want. You might have drawn it a little different if you want to put feathers, <coughs> excuse me, dangling off the sides of it. You're welcome to do that. See, I like to, I'm going to put this in the browns here. They use the animal skins. Sometimes if I go over a color, I'll use another color. On top of it, that'll be darker. So we're going to go ahead and color all of this get it started, my underneath color. I will be coloring the hair darker. Think about patterns that you would see about the patterns that you would see. Let me see. Oh, I'm going to do patterns. You don't have to worry about coloring fast. Oh, I skipped one. Oh, well. I'll go ahead and do these. Let's see. I am gonna do that's what happens is I touched. Good. That works for me. And red. Here's my red.
Oh, there's another thing that I did was in between each of these, and then I could color them a different color. You could have it actually reach the middle one, that would work. It's just a little pattern design. I put those yellow. purples. You know your colors, your red and your blue, when they mix together, they make purple. Remember when um, President Jefferson wanted to buy New Orleans? He decided Um, that, you know, New Orleans, uh, whatever ships went up and down the river, New Orleans, that area was allowed them to pass. I'm going to put these purple too. Whoever owned that area allowed them to pass. And of course, on one side, the, the eastern side, the right side, was America owned, and the left side was France owned. So they had to talk to Napoleon, see if he wanted to sell. The good thing was they were at war and they wanted to sell because they needed money. Huh? So then after we bought the purchase, we were able to use land the land there, and um, he had um, Lewis and Clark. He had Lewis and Clark um, check out the new area, the new land, the new territory, the Louisiana territory. I like to go over and over and over with my crayon. Oh, uh, by the way, I have a little blanket underneath here. I put a little blanket. And I had used a different color. I used a color like this underneath. I could have put a pattern, but I didn't want to be able to show all the whole pattern within all of this. So I just color it up in between. And um, I'm back here, I went ahead and put orange. Oops. This is our cradle area to hold the baby, the cradle board. I do need more browns in here. By the way, the top does have the little lines with the same little pattern up here. So I can have those up there. How's your artwork coming?
just to remind you again, here's what my artwork's going to look like. You have everything colored in. I didn't finish the very ends. I was thinking about maybe, I like the white the contrast. And here's another one I had done. Remember we had put one on the top, one on the bottom. I put fringe here if you want to put any fringe on any of it. See, we still have the whole outside for you to decorate however you want. Where would that uh, cradle board be? Would it be on the mother's back at the time? Uh, would it be um, leaning against the side of the horse or what? Where would that cradle board be? Because I know um, when they're on the... Um, walking on the horse they usually drape it over the side of shoulder of the horse all right so where would that cradle board be so all our job now is to go ahead and finish coloring it up Sacagawea was is one of my favorites. I do love to work on projects about her. Keep working. Take a moment and view your artwork. Notice your neighbor's artwork. Look for the differences and similarities in your artworks. Thanks for joining me today. We learned so many things. Today we talked about Lewis and Clark's expedition and their guide Sacagawea. And we found out what was in her cradle board. We did an artwork about it. And we used some Native American ideas. As you go through your week, notice the different people you may meet. Notice what kind of colors and patterns they have on their clothes. Notice the line designs and um, colors and patterns you see all around you. Think about how you could use patterns in your artwork. And always remember to think of other people's feelings, how they feel, and be mindful of others by using kindness. Enjoy the rest of your day. Can't wait to see you again next time.